Go. The Teddy Bear Clinic has approached the Director of Public Prosecutions to intervene in a case of gross child abuse. Two Tembisa siblings are back in the care of their alleged abusers, despite uh, evidence against them. The following visuals, uh, please be aware, may be disturbing. This three-year-old was initially hospitalized for a broken arm, but this was neither a fresh nor the only injury. Doctor suspicions were raised. On closer examination, evidence of repeated abuse was found. She also had a huge wound on her scalp, which according to her parents was caused by a knock on the bed. She had a lot of injuries around her mouth and she also had scratches on her face. Her eight-year-old brother was subjected to equally shocking treatment. We were quite horrified by the extent of the injuries to the ears, to his neck. Um, specifically, there were a lot of injuries to his groin area. He's got a chronic case of enuresis, which is bedwetting, and due to that, he had torsion of the testicles by the perpetrator. Social workers acted swiftly. The siblings were put in a place of safety. Seeking legal recourse was of no help. The case was dropped despite overwhelming medical evidence of abuse. The two victims were further failed by the children's court. They were released back into the care of the alleged perpetrators. Often children are double victims at the hands of both their caretakers and the system. 45% of children are still dying or are at risk because of being violated. This is underreported. We're not having an accurate uh, estimate of what is happening on the ground. As the 16 days of no violence against women and children campaign approaches its second week, renewed hope that the promises and undertakings extend beyond public platforms. Chilean Palais, SABC News, Johannesburg.